Hey everybody, my name is Kit and welcome back for the video of Last Judgment. We're going to continue this series, boys. We're back at this game, of course, again. Uh, last video, we did a lot of things. We uh, went over overcomplicated stuff for no reason. We did a lot of, like, uh, speculations for the case. I think most of them are true. Some of them, not, to, not so much. We're about to find out, though. All we have to do now is hit the couch at our detective agency. We're back in Kamurachuro, uh, boys. So back in the original town. And uh, let's find out what we have to do, I guess. We just gotta uh, rest and see what happens. Wait a minute. What? Yo, you took your sweet time. But I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijincho, right? To meet with Sawa-sensei? Kaito-san, you do realize that only I can meet her. You can't get into the school. I know, but if you end up taking it off campus, can you at least call me this time? Don't you understand the situation? Sawa-sensei might be tied to murder. <laughs> you sure you understand it? Come on, she would never do that. My guy, are you a detective a or not? So happens, I'm a great judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, uh, sure, buddy. Oh, sometimes I forget Whatever. who I'm to. Kaito is a dumbass. I tell you, boys, he's the worst partner out there. Really nothing. You're used for nothing, man. So we just gotta head out to Lincho. Is that out over there? I guess get out of our agency place. Not gonna be any use to us anyway, so uh, get uh, get into Lincho. So wait, we're heading back. So we just got into town just to sleep it off in the, the. Why didn't we just go into the other detective agency and sleep it off there instead? That sounds like a dumbass thing to do. All right, I guess we're gonna heading back. We're coming back right here, boys. Oh, he's coming with us as well. Okay. Well, first stop, it's gotta be Chinatown. Can't face Sukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito-san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked out the math. I figure if I hit four or five places a day... What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. What the fuck are they doing the there? The thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! What are you fools doing in town? Hey! Don't ignore me! It's Kaito! Fancy seeing you here! I'm kinda busy here, man. Catch you later. What an asshole. Ichincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. Yeah, I don't know why he's out there. That's not our main like objective. Is not we don't have to figure this out. Got nothing to do with us. Now who are these guys? It's gotta be an arc. Two gangs working together. What the fuck's going on here? Yeah. Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. I doubt that. They're expanding, my guy. Keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're gonna be late for class. I'll catch you after school. I should head uh, to the uh, Syra uh, High School. All right, so we're gonna do that, boys. Very strange that they're meeting like this. I don't know. Like, are they actually ganging up together? We're gonna form up a big gang or something? Maybe. Uh, if that's so, that's kind of uh, scary a little bit. All right, so what we do want to have right here is we want to have enhanced reversal crane equipped. There we go. And next up, we want to go all the way to Sairi High School, which I am going to equip a taxi. And just like that, we're going to enter the, uh, the high school. Just like that, boys. It's easy as that. We're in. All right, there we go. So we are in. Uh, I've got nothing else to do right here. I mean, obviously, I could uh, chip in and talk maybe with my new par my partner in crime over here in the mystery club, but 
don't feel like really doing that right now. I'm focused solely on doing main quest when I finish this game as soon as possible, boys. It is a really what? long game. We're at chapter six. What is it, Yagami? I don't know how many chapters Sensei there is. Me. Didn't think this game was gonna be so that I long, though. Saw the video of Mikoshiba Kun. So you did that video, right? I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Miko Shibakun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ehara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A deception? Are you familiar with Ehara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ehara-san groped? She's so the one, yep. Yeah. Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know if she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you, then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I know exactly what I'm implying. Might be cooperating. You're in on person. this. As in, she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? She really doesn't know, uh, seem to know of any connection between her and Mamiya. Or maybe she's just playing us, my guy. Come on. If that's all an act, then she's an amazing actress. Yes, yeah, she is. She's a good actress. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, like, I'll give her that. But for the rest, fuck that, man. I don't believe her for one second. I clearly think I was in on this as well, boys. You're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college, but I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun. And as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san will be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track, um, Sawa Sensei, we're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara? Every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me, how are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? 
I think you have the key to that answer, even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock, and until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you, I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. She really is trying to hide stuff from me. She doesn't want to talk. Look, she's gonna talk eventually. I need information from her, and she's a clear suspect, a suspect right now. All right, so I just gotta leave. He told, he just told her he was gonna wait for her, and he's just gonna leave like that. Okay, then, buddy. I guess you're abandoning fast. Whatever, I guess. I mean, we didn't get too much out of her. Uh, just the fact that they were buddy buddies, I guess, or they knew of each other's, of each other. But there's nothing really uh, else than that. We didn't get anything. What are we supposed to do now? I was going to tell Sari about Sawa and Mama, uh, Ma Mamiya. Hey, sorry, son. It's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshinokun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mr. Kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes, and to top it off. Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. What? Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. What the show. fuck type of asshole is Probably that? Would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza, so he never swore into it. I just okay, so he's a Yakuza. He's one, one of those dudes. <laughs> what? This guy? Is You're this right. guy? You gotta be shitting me. Ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girl's bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girl's bar. But we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. But their leader, Soma, said something about Kawhi having already been killed. Like, he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Damn, so RK are actually on the same case as us. We should be working together then. With the street thugs on our side, that would be great. How was it, Sari san What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawhi. Did he? He also said R.K. later told him Kawhi had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were R.K. on the hunt for Kawhi, did it have something to do with our case as well? It's all connected, so putting aside the connection between Mikoshiba and Kawhi, why is Arke suddenly so involved? I'm honestly not sure I don't know. how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawhi. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Wait a minute. Oh shit! We're switching characters just like that, boys? I did not expect this. You don't mean... You're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawhi. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. Bitch. It's still like You're out. underestimating I me or something? I don't need your help. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still. I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. 
Bitch, don't do that. Come on now. Are you gonna ruin my own plans? All right, I, th that's fantastic though. I get to play as her now. I get to play as Serori, boys. Switching characters. First, I'll need to find some RK members. Unlike Yakuza, they're hard to identify by appearance alone. But no worries, in time like these, it's good to know the owner of Tender. He's well connected. The bartender? Okay. That's a really weird name. That's kind of a awful name to for a bar, I guess. I guess we're going in. We're going to talk to this guy. I like how we're literally just playing as a different character now. Okay. Now that now it's getting interesting if we get to play as different characters and whatnot. Hello. Is that Sari Chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Talk's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Two of them sure can keep up with each other. But if I'm going to ask uh, questions, I better order a drink. All these what the fuck am I going to order? I don't know more. anything. Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with RK? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh, please. You two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. Okay, this guy. I'll second that. Come on now. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> this isn't good. I'm getting so relaxed. I uh, might forget about work. Yeah, don't get relaxed. You're supposed you're to work here. What the hell are you doing, Sari? The good news is, those unlike Yagami, she's not used to this uh, detective work. It's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, "Hey, are you okay?" and expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sari Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your... Look, some nice clothes and a little makeup and you'd be unstoppable. Finally. My We're going undercover, I guess. Interesting. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Well, if you want. I can get you some looks, and you can choose what you like. I get the message, and I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay, then leave the rest to me. So we do get to choose what she's gonna look like, okay. Uh, change the dress, let's just change the dress, let's see what, she, uh, what it's all. This one looks, uh, it looks good enough. Just got 4k points via from that as well. Man, I managed to make her look like a completely Talk different person. Really she doesn't even look like Sayori anymore, boys. Are you sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I mean, look at this shit. I wouldn't say so. Now that that really? call, that's a professional yeah, man. I'm a professional at this shit. She looks like a boss. Look, everybody's looking at her. She's a blonde with blue eyes. 
in the middle of Tokyo, boys. What do you think? That's the final she attracts you everybody. Pride in your own beauty. Well, They're not used to seeing this, that. especially with that uh, that and outfit as well. She's as something lawyer. else. You have that, don't you? As a lawyer. Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of the girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senryo Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. Time to walk down Sayori uh, or Senyuro Avenue. Uh, if any arcade guys approach us, we'll reel them in. Then I can ask them about uh, the uh, Kawaii and see what they're found, uh, they found uh, uh, out so far. Yeah. Time to do some real detective underground stuff, boys. I'm going further than Yagami has ever done with this Where shit. Completely going? changing my look. Look li uh, looking like a complete different person. So, uh, Yagami has never done that before. Look at this guy, he's stunned by my look. He almost fell uh, uh, fell down or something. Alright, let's continue our way, boys. We're going uh, down that avenue. We're gonna find some people in there. I did some work on her. Good lord. And she already looked pretty enough as she, uh, as she was, boys. Now with the brand new look and everything, holy shit. She's hard to miss, that's for sure. Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? Good right one. For a drink. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. There's a place my buddy runs. He'll be thrilled to see some ladies like you. If they're okay, uh, then it might be good to take him up on the offer, but how can I know for sure? Oh, they are. I had to deal with them with Yagami all day, but she doesn't know that. You're just my type. You're okay, guys, right? No, that, that's gonna blow off my, uh, my own uh, thing. I wanna get wild tonight. Oh my. I'm sure you know who RK is. You're just my type. You know what? I, I don't want to go full guns blazing with the wild tonight thing. I'm just going to go the regular route. You're just my type. You rugged boys are just my type, actually. But are you really that into older girls? Me? I'm your type for real? Oh, what happened to your nose? That bandage makes you look so tough and masculine. Oh my goodness. What is going on, boys? One too many, sorry chan Don't worry, sorry chan I love a hot mess. I'm one myself. And now, while their guard is down... I'm sure you know who RK is. You are K, uh, you are K, right? Let's be real here. You're RK, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asks if you're in a gang? Ouch, that was too obvious. But then, how should I have asked them instead? It was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows. Anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be RK. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, you know? True. 
Guess we do got that RK swag. That's I right, mean, the swag, yeah. boys. We're just out here Can't get rid of game, that. You know? <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if you ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. Nice, Mary. You've got them wrapped around your finger. You boys certainly talk a good game. RK knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the RK ladder then, huh? Not just the local chumps? Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. Oh shit, sure. they're not. RK Definitely not high up. Now us. That's funny that they're just selling them off, uh, selling the, uh, themselves like that. Looks like this went well. I knew they had to be uh, with the RK. Now all I have to do is ask uh, them about Kaiwi. Why were they looking RK for him? RK has Kamrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect for the chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Now the underground world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girls bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. Oh <laughs> well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Kamurocho. That's so crazy though. What happened to him? Do you ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. That's Crazy. The last time saw the dude. Same way Mikoshiba died. Interesting. We got a good connection right there, boys. This guy's talking if way too much. Breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women sound like a gang thing and who knows right it was five years ago a group of civilians shoved kawaii into a van and they were all acquaintances it's not a coincidence boys it's all the same people right here could have been the classmates yeah they could have been but if you heard all that there must have been witnesses right so you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van yep some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? I, who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Yeah. You fucked up, my girl. You're only you fucked up royally. You're, you're not good at this. So who the hell are you? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Who sent you? I don't owe you a name. I'm sorry, Attorney Atla. I'm just an RK fangirl. No one. I I'm just an arcade fan girl. Don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> so, could you stop? Really? Damn, my bad. Guess you don't really look suspicious. You fucking moron! Don't you realize he's playing you? Uh, he's right. No charming your way out of this one. Start talking or else. What the fuck do you mean? I am a fan girl. Okay. I don't owe you a name. You know what? I don't owe you anything. I wouldn't even give you my name. Now let's go. 
threats and violence aren't going to work on me. Oh, what have we here? Got ourselves a bad bitch all of a sudden. <laughs> Too bad she can't keep her hand from shaking. <laughs> That's just the excitement talking. Big talk for a chick dressed in the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan. Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady. Sorry, Chan. Hold on now. Huh? What the? Beat it, punk. The guy she's on. Asshole. Who the fuck is this? I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um. No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own, especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait, how'd you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! He's like, oh, how the <laughs> fuck do you look like this? Shirosaki-sensei. It's so funny, boys. You. You look incredible. So Charles Arcade Manager, okay. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. Turu Igashi, a former Matsugani um, family member of the Tojo clan. He's like a brother to Kaido. And he's, he knows Yagami uh, as well. Okay. Uh, he runs his arcade full time now, but apparently he still keeps up with the Yakuza fashion trends. If you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Uh, Kawi was a bully 13 years ago. He vanished from Kamurocho. Yeah, it seems like they were all people he knew. Yagami's still a jackass, seems simple enough. See. When Shirosaki sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. Yeah, he doesn't pick up at all. He doesn't give a fuck about salary. He's a badass, not a jackass. Yeah, no time for a woman, but uh, my guy, he's got work to do. You were killed. Uh huh. Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims. That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually, the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawaii. Could be. Okay, we'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right, thanks. Now I guess I wait for Sawa. Still a lot of time before the faculty meeting ends, so we're still waiting on her. Okay. Oh, what is it? Awasa Amasawa. Okay, so that's my partner in crime, boys. Uh, one of my underclassmen wants to talk to you. Could you come to the club room again after class if it's not too much trouble? Yeah, sure, no problem. Alright, she wants to talk to me, so it sounds like it's gonna be like a side quest that they're gonna give me. So go to the MRC into the evening on the side, or kill some time. Okay, so my main quest is to kill some time, I guess. So we gotta wait it out, wait outside until she finishes her thing. In the meantime, I mean, we can do some side quests. I, I guess that's what they want us to do. Got uh, a lot of points, some new abilities that we could use, so EX uh, Blind Reversal, Desperate Flurry, Running Wall Smash, Palm Strike, Running Assault, let me do a Running Assault right here, that sounds like a really good one right there. Uh, if we want to do a special as well, we might, uh, we might as well try it, there we go, booze on boys, there we go, just like that. So, I'm guessing now we gotta go to the MRC. Uh, let's go to the MRC, why not? Let's do that, boys. I'm intrigued to see um, Amasawa again as well. It's been, a, uh, it's been a while since we've actually talked to her and whatnot, so... It's, uh... 
it's gonna do uh, do us some well to uh, catch up with her and maybe talk with the, about the, the whole professor business uh, while we're at it so let's see what's going on here all right so there she is she did say there was somebody that wanted to talk to us so let's uh let's find out what is this uh thank you for coming uh what is it uh, you wanted to ask me it's a rather long story is this a good time let's hear what she has to say so once you start the side quest everything will be put uh on hold the climb uh to help for now help someone I mean, i'll help her out why not let's yeah. uh let's help her out after all i am the outside thank consular all right so this is about my classmate i should get him uh, go get him right now be right back Yoroshiku. nice to meet you uh I, i'm a second year i'm yagami the advisor so what's hey. going on here um do you believe in things like curses what was that i'm sorry no. what just pre just a preface this case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous depending on on your answer oh. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me. Well, just tell me what's uh, going on first, then we can see uh, how it ranks up with all the crazy things I've heard. Alright, side case, curse of our uh, family. So about the quest for case, wh hey. what is this? It's about a lucky cat that I have at, my, at home. A lucky cat. You mean one of those statues of cat waving its paws or like a natural cat? Yes. The former, yes. They said to bring, they, uh, to bring good fortune, so you can spot them all in sorts of businesses. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck, but black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. Oh. Didn't know they got that specific. The thing is, my lucky cat doesn't know uh, do any of that. It doesn't bring money or good luck. It just attracts strategies. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of uh, bad. You should probably change it. Looks pretty old. My dad bought a body from an antique dealer friend of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre-war ones like this. But my dad's friend warned him at the time, this guy brings more bad luck than good. Alright, so why do you guy why'd your dad buy the thing if if it's supposed to be cursed? Well he collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interest stories. He goes nuts for those. Mm. He's an interesting guy, alright, so lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good. I admit that's an interesting hook. Uh, the curse or whatever it is, even the uh, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem well. real. Ever since acquiring the statue, the Shimadas have been through an ordeal of uh, after what another. Was that? Like what? What about the unlucky cat? Like some pretty scary stuff. My dad got uh, a really high fever all of a sudden. It was a uh, touch and go for a bit. Our house got on fire too. Potential arson, a serious illness. You weren't kidding, that's scary stuff. My grades keep slipping ever since dad brought the thing. I've, heard, uh, I've never dro dropped below uh, a tenth place before hmm. this. Is, is that really the statue's fault though? Well, you sure can't blame me for the ghost. One, wo uh, one woke my dad up in the middle of the night, standing right there next to his huh? bed. A ghost. He was dressed like an old timey soldier and totally pale. Just stood there, like it was at attention. Uh, but he kept moaning, give me back my cat. My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. So it was just a dream? Yeah. I don't know, but the next day that one, that's when he started feeling awful. It's like he's been cursed or something. Well, that would be upsetting. But my dad's still not out of the woods, not that he's healthy either. He's almost got run over by a car a couple of days ago. It's still going on? Damn, all right. Well, at this point, it's probably safe to consider mo further misfortune in inevitable. Uh, that may help us determine the cause before any irreversible uh, damage is done. I'm telling you, it's a cat. Hmm. We'll see about that. Why even keep it? It's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. He says the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of his statue. So the statue was cursed even back then? Yeah, my dad said the guy died when he hit his head on it. What? Are you serious? That's quite the story. Apparently, his old fan base is obsessed with the statue. Uh, that's why it's considered really valuable, despite the uh... curse. Who's the other, by the way? Uh, Kitan Amasawa. 
He was a mystery, uh, mystery novelist, and my grandfather. Wait, your grandfather is the original owner? And that's how he died? Huh? What the hell? And you said hitting his head on a statue? Yeah, that's kind of, uh... That doesn't resolve well for your family. So the, the, this was an actual cat that, you know. Yes. Well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my grandfather owned. Hmm? So you don't know if this is actually the same one. Well. My grandfather's has been missing ever since he passed away. About seven years now. Shortly after he died, my grandfather pawned it off. Uh, uh, my grandmother pawned it off. So he always thought it was rather I creepy. See. I see. Can you tell me from this picture if it's the same one as your hmm. grandfather's? It's hard to tell from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. I do remember the cat was cursed even back then. My grandfather was somewhat of a rar rarities collector himself, of course. He jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. Awasama was famous for his somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I can definitely imagine him wanting a statue like this. Yeah, he was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. But I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. An interesting development right here, boys. We got some sort of uh, curse going on. Alright, so I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must approach narrationally, no matter how unusually they present themselves. That's why I firmly believe, because logic is always found at the true curse of a uh, core of any mystery, right? That being said. But that also, that's also why my grandfather unexplained death has stuck with me from the past seven years. Hmm. I assume the police ruled uh, with uh, as an accidental? Uh, if that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. No, actually, on the night of my grandfather uh, passed away, I also experienced a strange event. One that has no rational explanation or could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. What? What happened? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same gotcha. cat or not first. Sure, we can do that. Yeah, she ha she does not have the words for it. She doesn't know how to explain it to me. That's quite weird. Okay, so I I'm getting out of the bottom of the case one way or the other. If something causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as that uh, as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimila family. Makes sense to me. After all, you're all about pre preventing incidents before yes. they take place. And not only that, this case is personal. I w I'm a Sawa. So Yagami, would you please help me get to yeah. the bottom of this? Thank all right, I got your back. Thank you so much. To start with the investigation. First things first, I'd like to see yes. the statue in person. Good idea. Uh, do you think your father would mind cool. showing us to us? Yeah, uh, I'd be. I bet the, uh, he'd be over the moon to have one of uh, Amasawa's descendant come in, uh, confirm his statue is the real deal. All right, so I give him a call now. He says, "Yeah, he'd love to meet you guys." In fact, good to hear. Uh, I ask him to meet us in the cafe near the station plage. It'll be faster than getting him in sign at the at the school reception or anything. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I would have felt bad asking him uh, to ask all the way here anyway. All right, so we'll have to make a way to the cafe now. Let's meet up uh, out front. Yagami-san. See you soon. Well, I guess go to the cafe plage on the side. So she's coming with me, boys. Interesting. We have a a whole side quest going on. Uh, she's following me around. I'm with you. Which uh, is fun and all, but uh, I guess now I'm stuck with her, so we do have to uh, to head out to the cafe and everything. Which we'll do, we'll do, uh, no problem. Oh, that's not where I went, uh, meant to uh, to go. We gotta head out. So let's do that, boys. Let's exit, exit the place. Alright, so I just gotta head off over to there. So where we're gonna end up, so I'm gonna go there with her uh, on my own free time. I'll... Finish up the whole story, maybe, so we can actually, or you know what, we'll continue this story in particular, we'll continue the next video, but remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one in particular. Keep it easy, boys.